I'm Christina Chiarelli, and here's what made news this year on itsrelevant.com. Or rather, who made news? When it comes to Stanford residents, the city that works has many to be proud of. A nine-year veteran with the Stanford Police Department and leader of its canine unit, Officer Seth O'Brien was named Officer of the Year. After a 25-year pause on the police canine program, O'Brien revived it with a fellow officer in 2009. The administration was very good to us. They said, here you go, it's your thing. We really don't know much about it. Get it going. And uh, I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity. O'Brien works with a six-year-old German Shepherd named Cooper. He's one of four police in the state who can certify canine teams for the National Police Canine Association. He may only be 13 years old, but he's already made a name for himself in the world of cooking. Stanford teen Hunter Zampa competed in Food Network's Kids Cook-Off. Though he didn't take the win, he was back on the network competing in Chopped Teen Challenge. There he was victorious, taking home a $40,000 scholarship to the International Culinary Schools at the Art Institutes. It was kind of the biggest thing that's ever happened so far in my life. I mean, being on TV and everybody watching you and everybody cheering you on, that's just really cool. We'll catch up again with Hunter in 2014. The spotlight also shone on another Stanford resident in 2013, quite literally. Miss Connecticut Caitlin Tarpey took to the stage at the Miss America pageant in September. After making the top 10 and returning home, she opened up with us about encouraging all young girls to follow their dreams, giving confidence to other redheads, and her Miss America interview. During the interview, she was asked about her stance on gun control in the wake of the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary School. As Miss Connecticut, you bet your bottom dollar I have a lot of hard and emotional feelings on that issue because it's so close to home, so close to home. I have family Absolutely. members in Sandy Hook. So when I walked out of that interview room and in that interview room, I said, as Miss Connecticut, I'd like to say that we do choose love. And in that moment, it was kind of this overwhelming recognition that I really am representing a state that's so much more than, than just the letters on my sash. To find out more about the program, visit MissConnecticutAmerica.org. Thanks for watching us on itsrelevant.com. See you in 2014.